Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I was guided this morning to make a separate New Moon in Leo video, which I'm going to do in a moment. Um, because I woke up with the words, let me just check, show up and glow up. And when I check the um, astrology chart, rather than feeling in, what I've done is I've lifted the exact words from the software that I use and uh, it just made me giggle. I'm gonna read you verbatim. You feel so moon in Leo. You feel safe in moments where you can impress others and get praise and admiration. So I've been talking about the big strokes and what's our motivation and what is showing up in this. What am I bringing to this? Yet, when you get into the spotlight, you may find yourself at a loss. And that's to do with fitting in and belonging and adapting to please and bringing something with a preconceived expectation, so useful, valuable, rather than just opening the mouth, opening the throat. And you probably have a desire for money and social status and have a strong ability to get it. But when the desire for money eclipses pure spirit wanting to speak through you, then that kind of clouds the field. So show up and glow up, and that's all I'm gonna read from that. Show up and glow up will be the essence of this reading. We'll see what comes first. I was also guided to make a pre-video for the triple conjunction. So guys, last Thursday, I recorded the triple conjunction video. And then, um, within hours of that, well, I'm just going to read from my notes because I'm in a huge activation. So the reason I'm telling you this is because something got opened up in that video. I'll explain. So before I upload the triple conjunction video, I'm letting you guys know what happened to me after I finished recording it. I recorded it last Thursday, 28th. Then around tea time, my eyes started hurting and I was struggling to see. Then everything from the neck up became achy and painful. And by Friday, I couldn't walk a straight line. I had no energy and I was seeing blue flashes of light everywhere. So that's a huge activation. On Saturday, the doors flew open and all my answers came at once. And it began with ancient eyes opening. So this activation had come straight into the optic nerve. Um, yeah. And the central nervous system. So ancient eyes opening, and then I got tons more. And what I don't want to do is speak too deeply into my personal journey because the messages you might get through this video are going to be beautifully just for you, okay? So I don't want to impress upon your journey. So, so much more came in. All day Saturday was just me as a student studying and scribbling and flaking out and studying and scribbling and flaking out. Then my body started craving carbs. That's a clear sign that I've been out somewhere. And I think the gateway that got opened was that video. That's what took me out. That's where I seemed to have untethered to go traveling. So carbs are always a sign that I'm coming back and I'm grounding in. And then I, I went out for a barefoot walk on the grass just to really, really bring myself back in. So here now today, I have a flood of study. Um, I'm studying 12 strand DNA. Um, mm, I'm hesitating on that next word. Optic nerve, Vedic text, Sanskrit, cellular regeneration at will and transhumanism. So there's an awful lot of learning coming in for me and a new star system that wants to work through me. That's what I hesitated on, so I don't want to put that on your path. Okay, so big activation, very Uranian. So Uranus tends to work with an electrical charge and tends to affect the central nervous system. So that's why I'm sharing this with you. If it feels like you've stuck your fingers into the socket, that's Uranus. So my symptoms have reduced. Um, my eyes um, in the evening go back into that 
weird, can't describe it. It's just a weird feeling, but very much reduced. New understanding, oh, I'm still unpacking the download and I've told you why I'm sharing this message. So whatever may happen, when you watch the triple conjunction video, whatever may happen in the realms of weird, remember that what comes in is for you and just for you. So again, it's listen to the words behind the words. Let go of trying to make sense of it just yet and use the holy trinity of self-care, hydrate, nourish and rest. And to that, I would add ground. And I also noticed I have no memory of making the triple conjunction video. I haven't watched it yet. I have no idea what's in it. It might be absolute pants, but I'm still going to upload it. So that was a beautiful untethering. So, okay, that's the health check. Right. These. Okay, talk to me about the Leo new moon on the 28th of July, 1754 GMT. <clears throat> how are you guys so this all happened so the big opening was saturday and if i remember correctly the astrology report for saturday was where this big love energy came in and that's when this other star system came in and just exploded my heart um, <laughs> oh wow all right all righty then oh my goodness pause pause i've got a lot going on <laughs> in my field so when I woke up with the, um, whatever it was, show up and glow up, I kept getting answer the bloody phone. And did I say that in a recent video? I can't remember, but it feels familiar. And look what the underlying card is. Answer the bloody phone. Okay, show up and glow up. So what's happening, it seems to be, there is a massive star seed awakening going on. And I think I've said to you before, Leo season is always just takes me off grid. Um, and it started about three weeks ago. It's always quite big for me, very activating. Um, and so I'm always wary that I'm just speaking into my field, but I'm guided to share what's coming through. So what is your soul calling you to do is the underlying question. Hmm. All right, so. <laughs> Protection. You are not alone. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So when your soul has pushed you out onto stage and the spotlight is on you to bring your song, what you may not know is there's a whole orchestra in the pit all looking up at you for direction. Hmm. Hmm. You as the conductor. It's very Leonian, but it's also quite feminine. So protection, call back your power. Hmm. What's the soul urge? Cut the cords to pleasing. And maybe approach it curiously with what will happen if I don't? What will happen if I don't? Thank you, great reminder. Right, I didn't make a note of this. I just asked my team to remind me about Vivian Westwood. Yesterday, I watched a documentary about Vivian Westwood, who I know nothing about. Um, my only experience with Vivian Westwood is once about 15 years ago, 10 years ago, I can't remember, trying on a Viv Westwood suit, which was a suit to die for. Um, that's my only experience of Viv Westwood. I watched this documentary and I thought, oh my God, this woman is unbelievable. And what really brought it home to me, this whole message was in that documentary. Mm. 
was a uh, clip from a TV interview she did in the 70s, late 70s, for the BBC. And I saw it as clear as day, and it took Vivian, it took the madness of Vivian Westwood and her system to sit in the system of the BBC for me to see the global beige, the beige. And Viv Westwood came on and she'd obviously gone to a lot of trouble. So she brought three models, four models on with her with previews of her latest collection. And as these models came on stage, the laughter from the audience got louder and louder and they could not map to her definition of fashion, to her perception of fashion. Now, whether you like her fashion or not, or understand her fashion or not, is irrelevant. What I saw was the order. Cannot meet this unique bolt of lightning. And she handled it with absolute dignity. And I thought to myself, this woman isn't ahead of her time. She's on the wrong planet. <laughs> She's barely human. <laughs> and she has this beautiful Joan of Arc energy with her, Bodicea energy. Nothing gets in her way. And she's built her brand from absolute poverty. She's built her brand from being scuppered by others. And she says the most dire time was when they had to light the shop with candles because they couldn't afford electricity. <laughs> Nothing stops her. Okay, look at this. It's, this is the warrior. This is bringing the light straight in, making no apology or explanation, having no attachment to outcome. It's just bringing the light straight in. It's the truth, straight in. She describes herself as icon, punk, activist. What an amazing woman, what an amazing woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Oh goodness, okay. <laughs> this is like, yeah, we hear you, but this is basically the same. Answer the call, have you answered your deepest calling? Trust the niggle. Now, the niggle might be. The niggle of what it's going to take to show up. OK, I can speak into this niggle. Yeah, OK. OK, I've just been given the green light. So um, I sense I haven't fully committed yet to a cups. Remember, that's been in the what's it for the thingy. <laughs> I haven't fully committed yet because I need to just burn away some attachment to outcome, expectation. The star system energy that came to greet me and is going to be my new mentor is the Pleiades. And what I learned over the weekend is the Pleiades sits in Taurus. And oh my God, I never knew this. So Taurus is the physical manifestation and Pleiades is the etheric. So this Pleiadian energy that came in, I've never worked with Pleiadian, Pleiadian energy before, but my God, it's absolutely beautiful. And as a school, <sighs> neuroconnectors, all firing all at once. So the niggle, so here we go. My niggle at the moment is, yeah, but what's that gonna bring? <laughs> Yeah, but how much time is that going to take? What kind of commitment do you want from me? It's like I'm negotiating and the, it's okay to negotiate with new energies. But am I coming from an old three, yeah, it's old 3D, it's old vertical paradigm. Whereas what I need to do is create confusion to stir the field up, get lost and stay in that and just allow, just allow. So I'm working through that. I'm 90% there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start channeling Pleiadian messages. So 
So listen, whatever comes in, I'm gonna say broad brush stroke in the next six months, it's for you, for you, and you've called it in. And that's gonna require a commitment to curiosity. And that's gonna require new ways to find inner peace. To find the stillness in the busyness of being back in the classroom maybe, or being, it depends where you are on your journey. It could literally be a new job that takes you way out of your comfort system because it's Taurus, it's the built world. A new project that takes you way out of your comfort zone that puts you back into student and deeply requires you to be curious and teachable. Or <clears throat> if you're a galactic traveler, then it could be bringing in a new star system or a new energy field. It's just waking up the old. All it, all it is is the DNA is remembering, literally remembering. So when I talk about transhumanism, I'm talking about the upliftment of humanity at a cellular level, okay? Not some head in the clouds. These are old connections that are coming, coming alive. So, show up and glow up is to be the conductor, the orchestra of support that is with you, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> to trust that niggle because the niggle is the beginning of chaos and confusion and change. And largely we avoid that, we stay in the same. We think we're evolving the same, but we're not, we're just spinning the wheel. What we need to do is to break the wheel maybe, or turn it in a different direction, or stick another wheel within the wheel so it works as a gyroscope, do something radically different. This is Uranus, okay? And to find the warrior within that inner, Hmm. It's that inner commitment, the part of you that will fall on your sword, it will, that will fall at the feet of your truth. That's the fool's journey, <laughs> to look a fool, okay? Beautiful, thank you. I'm going straight to Sacred Rebels. I've pulled that deck out, but I'm not feeling it. About the Leo New Moon. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Conduct your orchestra. There's so much help. As the DNA wakes up, you, you can build connections through the soul and out to your multidimensional self. Okay. So collaborate, sit and study. I literally have a brand new journal <laughs> sitting there waiting to be birthed. I'm just waiting for the last wild horse to pick me up and pull me along. Because <laughs> I'm still in that. <laughs> I'm still in the shock of the new. Hmm. There's that 33-6 energy that keeps showing up. This is... Higher consciousness, listening.
I heard a beautiful sentence yesterday, which was, when the mind comes to absolute stillness, the universe surrenders. So when the mind isn't interrupting the call, hello? <laughs> What's this about? What's this about? I wanna know what this is about. Where's it gonna go? Hello? The universe will surrender and find you and the connection will be made. What you want wants you. And there's a question in there, isn't there? What you want wants you. If there's a should, in what you want, it's not what you want. <laughs> you gotta go to the heart, you gotta go right into the heart. What does my soul crave? What experience does my soul crave here now? And then you go to the feeling. And what is that feeling? I've also learned an awful lot about emotions as a chemical activator. <sighs> Just blown my mind this weekend, the learning, the science has been has blown my mind. What do you feel? Nervous, lost, confused, yeah. Could be a trinity there. Excited, curious, awestruck. In pain. What else is Leo? Okay. Okay. What else is Leo? I'm just saying. Serious. Serious star system. I've done an awful lot of work with. What do you feel? Underline card. This is uh, base. <laughs> this is foundation. Base chakra is security, survival, belongingness, rootedness. It's where we store a lot of our fear. Stand still and own your power. It's finding that growl within, that deep bass note. What's your bass note? That might be a good, yes. What's your bass note? Because I keep talking about sound. Sound and harmonics create fields of energy which create manifest potential. What's your bass note? Make that sound, hear it. Do it in front of a mirror, find your bass note. Collaborative dreaming. Dance with spirit. Turn your shower <laughs> into a column of light. Will it, will it.
own your mastery. Discipline is part of mastery. Learning how to speak your truth in front of the BBC, in front of beige, is owning your mastery. If you have access to your truth, you've done an awful lot of work to get there. You know, <laughs> give yourself a treat. Give yourself a break and a big pat on the back and a big hug. The return. It's going to be huge awakenings on the planet. I just can't. I cannot. Yes, I know. is finding home within the self. So you are the whole universe. It's all within you. Just go find the right doorways. It's all within you. This is coming home. Six is the grail. Six is the heart space. Very Leo. It's beautiful. Nestle into the sweetness. Beautiful. Okay, let's start wrapping this up. So this is all kind of saying, <laughs> it's all saying tune in, tune in, seek within, dance with spirit, find the warrior, step your game up is what it's all saying. All right, that's beautiful. I'm going to pull one final card from this beautiful deck. Can we wrap this Leo new moon reading up, please? What's the final message? When I said what's the final message, what I heard was the dawning of a new age. So this is coming in on the number one. And the one is birth initiation, clarity, truth. Because the sword cuts away all the noise and the people pleasing and the, all of the old, those old paradigms. And we come into this knowing. So knowing is, well, you just know. It's bone deep. You just know. So that says to me, Air is mind, word, Uranus, North Node conjunction on a Leo new moon, well, within five or six days of each other. But it's all converging now. So we've got the higher mind bringing knowledge in. The higher mind bringing knowledge in. To initiate. So this is an initiatic time. This next six months minimum is a time of initiation into the new and like I say wherever you are on your journey is exactly where you should be exactly where you've planned to be so trust that that's what helps us come to peace to accept every minute without resistance to accept and keep accepting so this could literally be in Taurus, the 3D, the physical made world, a job that takes you way out of your comfort zone. In the etheric, if we're talking Pleiadian as the outlier for Taurus, then we're talking about higher initiation into maybe a new mystery school. 
So yeah, dance with spirit, dance with spirit. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm Oski. That's it. I'm going to after this. Uh, it'll probably be later on today. I'm going to upload the triple conjunction video and yeah, sit with it. <laughs> Plenty of water. Okay, my darlings. Take care. See you soon. Bye.